Three men running to replace Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels. Traded ideas and a few barbs in a final debate. Republican Mike Pence, Democrat John Gregg, and Libertarian Rupert Bonham took the stage in Fort Wayne. They took questions from voters on topics like poverty, legalizing marijuana, and county government re reform. Each had sharply different ideas on education reform. Bonham says he's willing to end I-STEP testing. Gregg advocates a pre-K or early childhood program. Pence says he wants to give parents more options. The men were most at odds, though, when talking about the budget and fiscal policy. Now we have the largest budget surplus that we've ever had in our history. It's going to make it possible for us to strengthen our budget reserves, and I believe we can cut taxes for every Hoosier. But, John, you just said that uh, we pay for things in Indiana, okay? But when you were Speaker of the House, for five of the six years that you were running the State House, Indiana ran deficits. I find it almost laughable that a United States congressman would lecture anybody about fiscal responsibility. You voted not once, not twice, but five times, Congressman. You voted, to, and, and it, the results increased our deficit by 200 billion, billion with a B, dollars. We should take all our taxes in Indiana to a 3% rate, even less than that 10%. Take it all the way to 3%. 3% personal income tax, 3% corporate business income, business tax. If we did that, every small business across the state of Indiana would instantly be putting 5% back in their pocket. Of course, Election Day, November 6th, is nearly here a week from Tuesday.